Hello, I am SpongeBob, and today we are gonna cook some yummy stuff by me! Number one, Egg McMuffin. First, you will need two bread slices, an egg, and meat from a starfish. And just in case you didn't know, Egg McMuffins are from McDonald's, and if you've ever been to McDonald's earlier than 10.30, you have probably eaten one. First, put the egg on top of the bread slice. Next, crack the egg with the Lego axe. Remember to leave the shells out, kids, or else you might die. And then, put a whole starfish into the egg. SpongeBob, don't cook me, we're BFFs. I'm sorry, Patrick, but the International Cookbook of SpongeBob says one starfish is required for this new meal. No! I thought we were best friends, bro! Then, flip the other bread slice on top of the first one, the egg, and the starfish. Yep! There we go! And the last step, crush the sandwich until it is flat. Oh! And this is your finishing result of the Egg McMuffin, made with starfish, egg, and bread. Bye, guys! Number two, Starfish Supreme. Ooh, sweet wampa. For this dish, you will need Patrick's clone, a gummy vitamin, two Oreos, a tiny bit of honey, sugar, 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 <gasps> butter, and a plastic bag to mix it in. Step one, open up your plastic bag, and then step two, Put the Oreos in the plastic bag and crumble them straight to... There we go. Step three. Put some of the honey into the Oreos so they stick. Then you just have to kind of crush the Oreos with the honey. Like so. Next, you just get the gummy and chew it to bits and next just shove the gummy into the oreo and honey it looks like boot water and then three or four squirts of butter into the mix then you just kind of have to crush the butter with all the other ingredients until it looks like poop and if you really want it to taste good, add about 10 chocolate chips. And last but not least, the ingredient that makes this dish so special, Patrick's clone. Wow, this looks really, really appetizing. And that is the finished result of Starfish Supreme. Bye guys, that's it for this part of this episode. Stay tuned for calamari. Three, calamari. For this dish, you will need a bowl, chocolate chips, olive oil, fruit snacks, and if you want, they can be Spongebob fruit snacks, that salt, and most importantly in this dish, you will need a squid, and I chose Squidward. And the reason I chose Squidward is because I went in his brain again and made him happy, and you'll learn how he cooked this dish later. Anyway, first, pour in your chocolate chips. About that much to be precise. Next, pour in your olive oil. About a quarter a teaspoon will probably do. Then simply dump the whole bag of fruit snacks into the dish. We're almost done with the calamari, kids. Just two more steps. Add a little bit of salt. And last step. Add the most important ingredient of all. The squid! SpongeBob, I don't know what to say. This looks so delicious. <sighs> ah, yes, SpongeBob, you have done it again. You have put me in heaven. <laughs> now, I will tell you how we cook it. We tell Squidward about how I made him happy, and then he'll explode cooking the calamari. Hey, Squiddy, guess what? <laughs> yes, SpongeBob? Um, we went in, I, I mean, I went inside your brain and, you know, I did some things. I made you happy by playing happy on YouTube in your brain. What? 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 Ouch. That 
that's the calamari, kids. Now stay tuned for one of the most famous desserts all around. Chocolate chip cookies. Four chocolate chip cookies. For this dish, you will need bowl, sugar, flour, salt, baking soda, and vinegar if you want to make it fizz. Butter, egg, and the main ingredient that makes these chocolate chip cookies so tasty, chocolate chips! First, you will start with about a cup of flour, a third cup of sugar, a half teaspoon of baking soda, and a third a cup of butter melted. Wow, that stuff really comes out fast. Then just crack the egg. And um, there you pretty much have all your ingredients. And sadly, Dylan Hilton does not have brown sugar, so they're not really going to be real. But to make them taste more vanilla-ish, you can probably add in about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So there's your vanilla extract, and now we are going to add in the chocolate chips. The key to chocolate chip cookies. That. And now that you have all your ingredients in, stir. And uh, by the way, if you feel like your dough is getting a little too hard to stir, you can add in about a tablespoon or a teaspoon of water. Okay, at this point you should probably be done. So first, preheat the oven to 375 degrees. And now while the oven's preheating, let's get ready to make the cookies. And if you want to do any last minute stirs just to make sure there are absolutely no clumps, you're welcome to do that. So first, get out a little, or should I say, a big cookie tray. Oh, and by the way, kids, this doesn't make very many cookies, so you only need a little cookie tray. We're just using a big one for today. Okay, guys, we got all the cookie dough on the, the tray, and um, now we just have to wait for the oven to be done preheating. That's it. Make sure to get an adult help you put the cookies in the oven. You don't want to burn your hands off with that 375 degrees. <sighs> that was just Dylan Hilton's mom that put the cookies in the oven. So make sure to bake for about 8 to 10 minutes. And if they still don't look cooked, cook them for 10 to 12 minutes. In the meantime, we will go on standby. 8 minutes later. This is what they look like if you can see them, so we'll have to cook them for a little longer. Two minutes later. Okay, this is what they look like. They kind of look the same as before, so we might have to do this a little longer. Okay, so we're saying that the cookies are a little too big, so we might have to cook them for about 15 minutes. Five minutes later. And there you have it, guys. Chocolate chip cookies by me, SpongeBob SquarePants. And the reason I'm not standing on the pan is because I'm a plastic Lego minifigure, and if I stand on the pan, I'll melt. Stay tuned for Cooking with El Patricio coming next month and taste testing.